Hi everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Pure X Raw Beauty Chrissy palette. I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands on this palette because I love Christy so much. So when I saw she created a palette with Pure Cosmetics, I was like, I need to grab this palette. I wasn't able to get it on the launch date because the website broke. Uh, so I was able to get it on the final restock and I'm so happy that I did. So also the video is going to be separated into two parts. So I did two looks. The first look was using the colorful side and the second look is this one right here and I used the neutral side so if you want to see how both of these sides applied on the eyes you can just keep on watching also don't forget to subscribe to my channel I put up new videos every single Mondays so subscribe so that you don't miss any of the makeup Mondays and that's it so thank you so much for watching and let's get started with the makeup all right so let's get started I'm super excited because today in the mail I received my pure X raw beauty Christie palette and let me just say something raw beauty Christie is is my real dad she's like so down to earth and I just love her vibe and I just love, love, love the concept of this palette. So you have two sides. You have the colorful side, which is definitely my side. And you also have the neutral side, which I feel like I'm going to have a lot of usage on an everyday basis. Let me open this up right now because I need to stop talking and I need to put this on my face. Open her up. Oh, girl. Oh, my goodness. Oh, these colors are freaking speaking to me. This looks amazing and I freaking love the concept of this palette. So you flip it over and then you have the, oh, bitch. You have the colorful side. Congrats, Christy, because this palette looks amazing. I haven't used it yet, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing on the eyes. All right. So to prime, I'm going to be using my MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. And I think I'm actually going to do one eye at a time just because I'm very in indecisive. How do you say that in English? Indecisive. I'm very indecisive and I want to make sure that if I want to remove my eyeshadow, I won't remove both eyes. So I'm going to start just with one eye. Okay, I think I want to be like in the Halloween spirit because we are almost Halloween. So I think I'm going to use like mostly the white and red shade. I'm going to grab a JH32 brush and I'm going to go into the white shade right here. I'm going to tap that all over my lid. Oh girl. Oh wow. This already? This white is very pigmented. Usually white eyeshadows are really like chalky and they're, they don't have a lot of payoff. I don't really have to apply like a white base underneath for it to, to show up. So that's really good. Next, I'm going to take a JH42 brush, which is a smaller compact brush. And I'm going to go into the shade called Flavor Town, which is a really bright red shade. And I'm going to pack this on my lash line and create a wing. Oh, she's intense. <laughs> she's really intense. I'm going to use a smaller precise brush. I felt like the Jaclyn Hill brush was a little bit too, th too big. And I'm really taking the shade from the outer to inner corner. And I think I'm going to bring it into the crease. There's a lot of fallout, so if you're using the colorful side, make sure to start with your eyes because you are going to get fallout on your cheeks. But so far, everything is very pigmented. Everything is blending really nicely. I think I'm going to take the red and blend it into the, the white. So I'm going to go back into the JH42 brush and I'm going to blend that red inwards. Okay, this shade is blending like a dream. Okay, next I think... Oh, what do I do? I know, I don't know. Really quickly, I think I'm just going to clean the shape up. So I really want to make it super clean and very sharp. So I'm just going to take a Q-tip with some micellar water. And I'm just going to clean 
that shape to make it super sharp. I want to try something, so I'm actually going to take the shade called Hurtful with a small precise brush. And I'm going to try and like put it, put this shade close to the outer corners of the line just so that it's a gradient from dark blue to red. But I just want to see and use more shades. Ooh, oh, that, lo that looks really pretty. It looks really nice on top of the red shade actually. And I'm going to go back into the JH42 and I'm going to blend that shade out. Okay, I'm having a little bit of trouble trying to layer those shades. The blue is like not really wanting to stick. It's definitely a little bit patchy, but if you take your time, it is going to blend out. Okay, that's working. I'm not sure if I like it anymore, but why do I always go back to red and blues? I have no idea. I'm really annoyed with myself. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but like the blue is just not wanting to stick on my lid so it's like really difficult to try and like blend it with the red because it's just wanting to like fall on my cheek and not stay on my face okay i'm annoyed this look is going bye bye you see see what i told you i'm so indecisive in this I'm really indecisive, so you see why I didn't want to start and do the other eye at the same time? I'm, I'm removing this one. I'm, I, I, I don't like it. All right, so I thought of what I wanted to do. And you know, I think I know what I want to do. I think I do. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go into the shade Hurtful and I'm going to take that shade and actually apply it all over the eye. So I think I'm going to do like a blue smoky eye and then I'm going to do like a shimmery lower lash. So I'm just going to take that shade with a small compact blender brush and I'm going to start and pack this on the lid. Ooh, that's pigment head. So I'm just going to take this shade really far to my outer corners. I think... I'm just going to remove the inner part right here of the eyeshadow. This time, I'm going to do a gradient from blue to skin toned. To make the blend perfect, I'm actually going to take a fluffy blender brush and I'm going to go into the shade called My Whole Heart and I'm going to tap that in the inner corner just so that the transition will be a little bit more smooth. And I'm going to go back into the blue shade and I'm going to start and just blend this going into the inner corner. And I'm also going to do kind of a line going into the inner corners. I have both my eyes on. Next, I'm going to take the Cafe Disco shade with a flat brush. And I'm going to put that in my inner corners just to give a little bit more of a, like a, a shimmer. Ooh, oh, that's a pretty shade. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. I feel like this eye look is very, very simple, but I do really like it. So I'm going to finish my face makeup. I'm not going to show you on camera because I'm planning on doing another eye makeup. So I'm just going to finish up my complexion and I'll be right back to give you my opinion on the colorful side. All right, everyone. So this is the finished look for the colorful side. And I'm just going to give you my kind of final opinion on the colorful side. I'm curious to see if if it's going to be the same on the neutral side but overall with the colorful side i am seeing a lot of payoff i'm seeing a lot of uh blendability everything blends really nicely the only thing is I wanted to try, well, you saw it from the first attempt of me trying to create a look. Um, I had a little bit of trouble trying to blend the blue shade on top of the red. There was a little bit of patchiness. I did have a little bit of trouble trying to layer these shades up. I'm really curious to see how the other colorful shades are going to blend and apply. 
uh, but overall right now I'm really happy with this so that's pretty much it for day one of using this palette if you want to see my opinion on the neutral side of the palette you can just keep on watching all right so today is the second day of this video so uh, today I wanted to try the neutral side of the palette to prime my lids I'm going to take again my MAC paint pot in the shade painterly so I'm just going to prime with my MAC paint pot. I think I'm just going to go into the shade called My Whole Heart, which is the very white beige shade. And I'm going to use that in the crease. So I'm just going to set the paint pot using that shade. And this eyeshadow has so much kick up. Like in the pan, it's really crazy how much kick up there is. But I don't really mind kick up that much because usually I always start with my eyes whenever I'm doing very complex eyeshadow just because I want to make sure that my complexion will look perfect afterwards. I think I'm going to use the shade called Camelot. I'm not sure how to pronounce that in English, but it's Camelot. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This is the JH32 brush. And I'm just going to start and put this in the crease. Oh, that's pretty deep. That's a pretty shade. This shade so far is blending really nicely and you can really build the shade up and i'm also going to blend this quite outwards all right so now that i have that in the crease this shade is so pretty Ooh. next i'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush this is the jh40 brush and i'm going to go into the shade copper boxes and this shade i'm actually going to put in closer into the crease just to do kind of a gradient from brown to light yellow okay i'm going to go back into the fluffier brush and i'm just going to go over the edges and i'm also going to take that shade in this inner part of the crease okay i will have to say this is blending and layering so nicely like it's really buildable I'm super happy with this right now. All right, so next I'm taking a JH42 brush, which is an even smaller blending brush. And I'm going to go into the shade called B. And this shade, I'm mainly going to concentrate on the outer corner right here and this inner part right here. I'm going to go back into the shade called Camelot, just to bring back a little bit more yellow. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing how beautiful this is blending together? Wow, so pretty. Oh my goodness. So I'm really just defining the outer V and this inner portion right here. And I'm lightly bringing the, bringing the B shade on the lash line. Next, I'm going to go back into the shade called My Whole Heart with a small blender more packing brush and I'm just going to place this on the lid just to clean this lid a little bit more. Next I'm going to take a angled brush with that same My Whole Heart shade which is the cream shade and I'm just going to define this outer V a little bit more. Next just to try all the like dark shades i'm going to go into the shade you're not my real dad of course <laughs> and i'm going to take that shade with a very small precise brush and i'm just going to define this inner and outer corner a little bit more oh this shade is so rich wow all right so i really really love this look so i'm going to go ahead and do it on the other eye and i will be right back all right so here we go actually i decided to go ahead and finish my complexion lips and brows just because i really want this video to be focused on this uh, beautiful palette so the last thing to do would be my lower lash line and to apply some lashes so i'm just going to take the jh40 brush the smaller blender brush and i'm going to go into the shade called Camelot, the yellow shade, and I'm just going to blend this under my eye. And I'm also going to connect it to the upper part of my eye. And then I'm going to take my JH42 brush, which is an even smaller blender brush, and I'm going to go into the shade called B, so it's the, one of the darkest shade. And I'm going to blend that closely to the lash line. 
and then I'm going to take an even smaller brush and I'm going to go into the shade called You're Not My Dad, which is the very deep brown shade. And I'm just going to stamp this even closer to my lash line. And I'm also going to take just a little bit more and apply it very close to the upper lash line, kind of creating a smoky liner on the outer corner. All right, everyone, so here we have it. This is the finished look. Uh, if you want to know all the products I applied on my skin today, you can check in the description box below. Can I speak? I can't speak. If you want to know what I applied on my skin today, you can check the description box below. But yeah, so overall, I'm happily impressed with this palette. Like, especially the neutral side. Like, the neutral side applied like a dream. Everything blended like a dream. I'm so impressed. These are just freaking amazing. They blend so nicely. I will use this palette pretty much every day for the rest of my life, I think. <laughs> and what's nice with this is that you have these beautiful neutral shades that are blending so nicely and you can use these colorful shades to do pops of colors uh maybe i i would have to use the colorful side a little bit more because i did have a little bit of trouble trying to layer some of these shades and i think it's really sad that this is a uh, limited edition because i feel like this could be like a overall staple in everyone's makeup kit because you have colors and you have neutral shades and for the price the quality is freaking amazing this is really really worth it if you did buy this palette let me know in the comments below how you feel about it if you like it if you don't let me know also in the comments below if you would want me to do more looks using this palette i would be happy to because these eyeshadows are just so blendable and so pigmented so i would be really happy to create more, more looks using this palette so i'm going to finish the video right here so uh if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like you can also subscribe to my channel i put up new videos every single mondays so subscribe so that you don't miss any of the makeup mondays and that's it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one